Less than three days left. Are you ready for it? Hello, hello, everybody. Today is Wednesday, and I just got back from the pool, so my hair is all lovely, wet, chlorinated. And so, but yeah, I'm getting really excited for Friday. Even though I might be a little late to the party, I mean, it doesn't end until like 12.30, so I'll be fine. Uh, but I just hope the book is kind of long, but good still, you know? I don't know. And I'm getting a calendar, too. There's a special edition movie calendar that I am agreed to purchase. So, that's going to be a yay. Um, but today's book is Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. And, you know, if you've read anything from Terry Pratchett, you know it's going to be hilarious. And this book is. And if you've read anything by Neil Gaiman, you know the characters are going to be awesome. And they are. Like, one of them, Crowley, he's a fallen angel, but, um... He drives this black Bentley, and any tape, like recording tape or whatever, that's left in there, after a fortnight, transforms into a best of queen tape. So even if the cover says, like, Pachelbel or whatever, or classic classical music, the bottom it'll say, like, if you put it in, the vocals will be Freddie Mercury, and it'll be Queen, and so. Um... But it's about the Armageddon and how the end of the world is coming next Friday. Uh, it's ending on a Saturday. Next Saturday, to be precise. And um, the demon Crowley has been ordered to make sure this happens. And then, you know, he kind of thinks about it and he realizes Armageddon, or a war between heaven and hell that ends the world really wouldn't be that great because... He's kind of gotten used to living on Earth and enjoying Earth's delicacies like sushi restaurants or other lovely things like that, you know? And they wouldn't have a queen in heaven. So, and then he's working kind of against with an angel named Azrael, who is a rare book collector, and he's also trying to follow orders from his heaven. And, um, he's kind of been ordered to kill the Antichrist, and Crowley is the one who is supposed to give the Antichrist to a family and make sure it grows up knowing all evil, and, um, but the thing is, Crowley doesn't keep that close of a watch on the Antichrist, and he accidentally switches the wrong baby or something, and then the nurses switch it, and he loses the Antichrist. And so when um, the, dev the devil, yeah, releases a hellhound to go live with the Antichrist, to go find the Antichrist, it doesn't show up where Crowley expects it to, and he loses it. And then, um, so now he's looking for the misplaced Antichrist, and Azraphel is looking with him, and they're kind of working together, and then they realize, you know, they don't want a bagged battle, and so... There's so many more characters, though. Like, I can't explain them all, and it's just all of it's full of humor and sarcasm and wit, and the ending is a surprise, and it's kind of got a nice little message. But um, I, I did enjoy this. It's a 4.5 out of 5, because, you know, it's funny and everything, but I have a special place for romance. <laughs> or adventure novels or magic but there's that too I don't know it's just a good book and I do I do like it a lot better than a lot of other books so yay go read Good Omens Neil Gaiman Terry Pratchett fairly cheap seven ninety nine, and large page book so it'll keep you occupied cheers <laughs>